Naomi. Oh, good evening, Ma. Hello, my dear. How are you? I'm great, Ma. Fine, thank you. Hope your day has been great. It was wonderful. Thank you. Hey, um, Ma. I, I made Eva for dinner. You could join me if you wish. No, Ma. Thank you, Ma. I'll pass for tonight. Okay. See you tomorrow. Okay, dear. Mm -hmm.
You are absolutely fine. Am I? Yes, you are. Um, your health is in perfect condition. You're just stressed out as usual. <laughs> All you need to do is get some rest and you'll be fine. Thank you. Anything you say, Doc. So I gotta go now. Thank you so much. You're welcome. When was the last time you, you had fun? <laughs> what do you mean? When was the last time you took yourself out? I don't have time for such luxuries. <laughs> My point exactly. You get so busy, 
You forget to relax. Sam, I'm married. And I have work to do. Not today. How about I take you out to lunch? Some food with an old friend? What harm could that possibly do? For once, you're right. <laughs> Always right. <laughs> Good. So I'll um, tidy up my stuff and I get my car keys and then we can head out. Well, we can use my car. You can drive. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. Okay. But first, I have to go to the stylist. I want to style my hair and then I'll come right back. Okay, here's what we're going to do you go to the stylist, mm -hmm. get our hair done. I'll attend to a couple of patients here. We meet back in one hour and we can have lunch. Okay. See you soon. All right. Bye. She hasn't come around, and when she does, it's only for a minute or two. Things change. They right? do, they do. Yes, they do. But they change for the better. Well, um, at the same time, you know, things don't always happen the way we plan it at the end. So um, how is um, how is the new dishes going? It's going fine. Um, I do have a slight problem with one of them, but it's almost done with. I don't, I don't, I don't seem to get it. Get what? Why are you would forfeit? You mean your whole rights to your father's company to your sister? It doesn't make sense. I didn't forfeit anything. I'm not just interested. So, your father gave it to, to you and your sister? I know. I, it's not as if no, I even left the company. I'm, I'm not just interested. My passion and my heart belongs to cooking and not a factory. You ladies always, always busy thinking about now. You, 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 you should have been the one with the fat bank account, with the better and finer house. You should have been the one Shut with the... Shut up! Shut up, Michael! Well, everything about you is... completely... Michael, shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Mind your business! It's not something that I left the company or, or I just gave it to her just like that. I just, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not interested. That's it. Ah, what is this? You, 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 you never seem to listen, do you? I got it. Michael, get out. <laughs> You're joking, right? <laughs> uh -uh. Michael, are you deaf? I said get out. Get out of my house. She get out. Uh-uh. You, you know what, Cynthia? I think things will be a lot more better for you if you can live for yourself and for your sister.
my lady. Right. Shall we? Oh! <laughs> Watch it. Careful. Thank you. <laughs> Shall we? Yeah. So that's it. After that, I just became myself. <laughs> that's one hell of a story. <laughs> yeah. So enough about me. So what have you been up to? Aside from the hospital, what and who have you been involved with? <laughs> Naomi. <laughs> who and what? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, as for the what, mm -hmm. nothing really because... Uh, I spend most of my time at the hospital, and um, there's really no room for any other thing to creep in. And look who's accusing me of overworking. <laughs> well, I guess we're both guilty of it, aren't we? <laughs> <laughs> but, okay. but the thing is, I always try to find time to, you know, hang out with the boys. Okay. You know what they say, all work and no play. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. And as for the who? <clears throat> <laughs> as for the who? Well, I'm... Uh, I'm seriously slacking in that sector. Yeah. And why is that? Work? Uh, not really. I, uh, I'm yet to find a woman who really understands me. Okay. I had one before. Very beautiful. Very smart. Just everything I wanted in a woman. <sighs> but I lost that to another man. I'm, yeah. I'm so sorry, Sam. You don't have to be. No. It wasn't just meant to be. I hope you understand that. How would you know that, Naomi? You never even gave us a chance. You know you're the last woman I kissed. What? How is that possible? Beats me. <sighs> Beats the hell out of me. I... I try to keep myself occupied, you know. I try to overwork myself just to forget. And... Uh... Is it working? Sam, please, you just have to try and move on. I have... Where's your ring? Well, I'm not a ring person, so I usually take it off. How is he? I think I have to get going now. Right. It's getting, it's getting late and... Right, right. So, uh, will I see you again? Sam, you're my doctor. I don't hope to see you again. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean as a friend. You will always be my friend, Sam. Always. So can we finish up now so I can go? It's getting late, so I have to get home. And again, thank you for everything. Thank you, I really appreciate it. You're welcome.
I'm coming. I thought you said you were not coming. Well, I changed my mind. Is he still here? No, he's not. He left hours ago. Okay. Can I please come in? Are you still mad at me? How long is that going to last for? <laughs> okay. You said you wanted to tell me something yesterday. Yes, I did. Okay. Um, all ears. Well, you know I've always wanted to start up my own catering business. Mm -hmm. I finally found a space. Are you serious? Yes, I do. Finally, that's good news. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. Aww. But there's a small problem. Okay. I need money. Okay, how much? Five million naira. Five million naira. Ah, ah. That's too much now. Why did you start small? That's the smallest I can start. I know he's going to make it. I know it. I'm not doubting you, sis. But five million naira? I, it's too much. I can't afford it right now. I cannot. What about the company money? What company? You're not suggesting that I take from the company's funds, are you? I am. I have a right to. Yes, you do. When I was suffering to pick up the company back to where it is right now, you decided to chase your career. And you left me to it. And now you want five million naira? Five million naira! Hmm. That's impossible. I definitely cannot. Absolutely not. How dare you? I own the company too. You own a percent of the company's monthly income. I can't just go in there and take five million naira just like that. I can't do that. What have I ever done to you? Why is it that you never want to support me? I can't you say that now. I always support you and you know it. But I want you to make right decisions and not wrong ones. Like you did with your married. Now I know you're jealous of me. You're jealous that I'm better than you. And I'm married and you're not. How dare you! I am a lot of things, but I am not jealous. And I know your husband is a gold digger! Hey? Is that how you greet your husband? Deep. You know what's funny? Is that you really see joy falling into his arms? What are you talking about? Maybe you should see for yourself. Babe, how did you get this? It doesn't matter now, does it? Have you been following me? Maybe I should have done that earlier. Yeah. It's not what you think, babe. No. It's more than what I think. Yeah. Just look at the time you won't go back home. Was that Cynthia's house? Before or after the sex? What? Answer me! Babe, I'm not cheating on you. Liar! 
going, bitch! <laughs> Stop this, you're drunk! Drunk? <laughs> drunk? Good morning. Don't speak up on an old man like that. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, man. I didn't mean to startle you. Um, the door was open. You? Yes, it's me. What do you want from me? Nothing really. I just came to see if my wife is here. And why should she be? We are the little misunderstanding last night. Hmm. A little misunderstanding? Yes, I... I sort of lost control, ma'am. Oh. Hmm. Oh. Sorry. 
I just lost a little control. What are you doing? How dare you? Huh? Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Thank you. 
Thank you. Thank you. No need to thank me. I'm just doing my job. I'm curious, though. What kind of a man would do this to his wife? A man that loves and cares for his wife to a fault. Fine. <laughs> well, this is a very strange way of showing love, isn't it? He's a very jealous type. Oh, please, Naomi. Face it. He could have killed you. This is going too far. Oh, he didn't. What is wrong with you? Why are you defending him? Ignoring the obvious. But this is the first time he has ever laid his hand on me. First time? <laughs> and we're praying and hoping it's not the first of many. I know. I know you wouldn't. I hate seeing you like this. It hurts me so bad to see you like this. If this ever happens again, if this ever repeats itself again, your husband will regret ever knowing you. What kind of man would do this to his wife? What, what could you have done to deserve this? He saw us that day at the restaurant. He even took pictures of us. Oh no, no. You mean all this is my fault? You actually going through all this because of me? No, no. It's complicated. You can't understand. No, it's not complicated, Naomi. It's my fault. I'm sorry. I'm very, very sorry. Um, your sister should be here, so let me... Let me leave you to get some rest, okay? Sam. Please come. Please, you have a part to play in this. to you. I came as soon as I heard. It's nothing. I'm fine. 
Have you seen the mirror? Look like a truck hit you. A truck would have been better. Less emotional. But you still look terrible. Like my failed dishes. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> but it's so good to see you smile. It's so good to see you, sis. So what happened? Nothing serious. This does not look like nothing serious. What it's happened? Peter. But you never meant for this to happen. So what, what was his intention? He was drunk. And it was a mistake. Him being drunk gave him confidence to do what was in his mind. He saw me. He saw you. With Sam. I went out for lunch with Sam and he saw me, he saw us, I don't know how, but he got jealous. That does not warrant this now, eh? Are you sleeping with Sam? No. No, you're right, sis. I don't think I can trust Peter anymore. He's been acting so strange lately. He's been talking about joint ownership of the company. He's been acting weird. What for? I think he wants to kill me. He wants everything. He wants the company for himself. Sis, please, I need your help. I need you over there right now to keep an eye on things. Please.
Maybe. Maybe. Look, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I never meant for any of this to happen. I got you. I did. Please don't cry. Please. I promise I'll make it up to you, okay? Why should I believe you? Why should I trust you? It's me. The man you married. I'm your husband. You have to trust me. You should give him a chance, Naomi. He looks repentant. Someone needs to put this idiot in his place. I will not let you address my husband like that. Really, Naomi? Really? Sit yourself. Maybe I'm sorry about that. It's just... Nah, it, it, it's fine. I probably even deserve more. When are we leaving this place? Well, I'm, I'm not sure yet. The doctor is probably too upset to even answer me. But well, soon. It's fine. You just um, enjoy the moment. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, I've got this idea, you know, this plan. Um, why don't we start prepping for our first anniversary in two days? Mm, okay. You think so? Yeah, of course. Okay. All right, then. <laughs>
Is this why you wanted me here? To have sex? Yes. And to talk to you afterwards. Mm -mm. Let's get something understood. That only happens when everything else is settled. We have to keep our heads clear. It'll be done. That's what I want to hear. I gotta go now. Mm. Although I actually do want to talk to you for a minute. What do you want to talk to me about? It's about your sister. What about her? I have devised the perfect means to make an accident happen. What is this? Um, it's a special substance that um, contains... Uh, is that your door? I believe so. Wait. And there's only one other person who has the key to this house. Is it? Hey, sweetheart. I didn't know you were coming today. Well, I wanted to surprise you. Oh, well, you did. Welcome home. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Good to have you back. Well, babe, did you miss me? Of course I did. Are you sure? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> yes, mm, I know. You know those kind of things now. Yes. Uh, <laughs> Trying to avoid the wrath of the wife. I don't know what you're talking about. And you never will. Uh, mind your business, old woman. Excuse me. Excuse me. Huh? Cynthia. Huh? When did you leave the hospital? You know this woman? Yes, ma. She's my elder sister. Huh? Your sister? Yes. This woman has been coming here every time while you were away. I came to get some of your clothes and, and, and to solve some other things out. Uh, you don't have anything else to do. Uh, my sister needs to rest. Uh, Come, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, I, I jammed this door, so oh. let's go up to the front. Yeah, yeah, let's go, let's go. Thank you. <laughs> what were you doing outside? Uh, I was coming here. And I was in the neighborhood, so I decided to drop by. Uh, oh, okay. Stop by, Anne. Cynthia, uh, you, you're here in our house. I'm glad to have you around. Thank you. Okay, you can come in so we can talk. Uh, Sweetheart, you really should be resting. You just got back from the hospital. He's right. Um, I'll come back another time. We, we, we'll have so much to talk about. Rubbish, I'm fine. No, you can't go. You know what? I have a better idea. Why don't you stay over tonight and help us plan for our anniversary tomorrow? Uh, I don't know about that. No, you have to, my darling. Please, be like old times. And then we can talk and gist and, you know, everything. Why don't you ask your husband first? Peter? Uh, um, show anything for my love. Okay, let's go. We have a lot to talk about. <laughs> <laughs> We should bake a cake for tomorrow. No. My oven is off limits. By the way, I called you while I was still at the hospital and your phone was switched off. Oh, my battery died. Oh, okay. 
You can charge it now. I left my charger at home. You left your phone in my bedroom with my husband. What did you just say? You heard God. I'm so sorry. You're sorry. You tell me a man is bad and you go behind my back to sleep with him? I did not Cynthia. sleep with him. I did not sleep with your husband. I did not. Then what were you doing in my bedroom when I was in here? Everything I did, I did it for you. Really? You did it for me? There you go. You did it for yourself. Tell me. You're selfish. You've always been selfish. You know what? You will never change. You will always be the same. Are you joking? What does that have to do with anything? Cynthia! Cynthia!
Would you like some water? Just tell me about my sister. Cynthia, I'm really, really sorry. Your sister didn't make it. What are you saying? What I'm saying is, Naomi was poisoned. There's nothing I could do, there's nothing we could do to save her life. The concentration was too much. Peter! What did you say? He did this. Who did? I have to go. Thank you for your time. Cynthia! <laughs> Thank you. He actually used the poison. What a fool. I have to write this wrong.
So I made plans. Separated the original from the duplicate and hid them in two different places. I put the duplicates in the toilet room. And the original I put in a place you will never visit. My oven is off the limits. After debating the night, I came to my senses and took action. Can I please make use of your phone? Okay, okay no problem. Um, who do you want to call? Oh. I, I actually want to take pictures. Oh, okay, I can help you do that. Ah, good, okay. I didn't stop there. In the hospital, I made a deal with Sam. I need you to kill me. What the hell are you talking about? What? If you don't kill me, I won't get to know what my husband has planned. And it's better I die by your hand than he is. Of what good are you to us dead? Tell me. I don't want to die really. I just want to create an illusion. You want... You want me to fake your death? No. Just to get to the bottom of this, that's all. The doctor agreed, and that settled us. I started a series of stories in my diary about my darling husband wanting to kill me for my cousin. A truly captivating story. After that, I begged my sister for a favor. Don't be serious. You want me to seduce your husband? Yes. But it's only to get to the bottom of this. <laughs> That's crazy. I also wanted to plant thoughts of him killing me in his head just to see if he would take the bait. Ah, that is crazy. Ah, what would people say? No one would know. It's just for now. I'm, I, I'm not saying I won't do it. But what if your husband does not fall for me? What if you're wrong about him? Then I will take responsibility for everything and tell him what I made you do. I don't, I don't think it's a good idea. Please, please, do it for me. For the love we share. Don't let me die by this man's hands, please. Oh, I won't have sex with him. No, you won't, no. If he falls for you, then I will know the truth that he wants my end. I only do it because of daddy. Thank you. My sister played her part and she played it well. I did. When you came into the hospital with her the other day, I cried because you confirmed my thoughts and my mind. You didn't even take time before falling for my sister. Don't cry. Please. I promise I'll make it up to you, okay? Everything was going according to plan. Um, Ma. Please, Ma, I would need you to do me one last favor. Please, Ma, um, I just placed a diary under your front door mat. Tomorrow morning, I will be rushed to the hospital by my husband. He may have succeeded in killing me. I would need you to call this number at the back of the diary. He is a police inspector. Please report my death to him and hand him over the diary. Please, Ma, would you, would you, would you help me do that? Uh, 
Ma, I, I need enough evidence to put him away. I can't keep running for my life. Please, Ma, do this for me, Ma. Thank you. Thank you, Ma. God bless you, Ma. Thank you, Ma. Bye-bye, Ma. That night, after my sister had told me about your plan to poison me, I was happy because it was similar to mine. I made her angry in the kitchen so she wouldn't distract me. Then I went to the toilet and switched the content of your container with the poison Sam gave me. All was in place. The next day, I took the special pill and faked my poisoning. In the hospital, Sam declared me dead to everybody. I knew you would run home to get the documents, but you never knew that the police would be waiting. Thank you. 